Okay, if you were talking to a room filled with newer agents, how would you, what, what advice would you give them to, for them to figure out who they are, how to identify what might set them apart, and how to find what's going to be their passion in real estate? Well, one of the first things I think you have to be careful with, with uh, new agents, I always tell them if they are looking at it for the money only, that they should find a different career. Because the reality of it is that if money is your driving factor in real estate, you won't make it. If helping customers in their transactions in all, I mean, I take rental calls. Um, it, it can be a $700 rental. If I'm not doing anything in the office, I take that rental call. and I try to tell all new agents, every single customer that calls you is a potential windfall, but you shouldn't take the call based upon that. Um, I took a call four years ago, that, uh, and I'll make this really short so everybody has time. And, and this is why I think it's key to new agents in our business is they, they automatically think, oh, I want a $400,000 listing in Carmel. I want a $300,000 listing in Fishers. Well, those are all great, but you also need to take the rental call too. Gentleman was being transferred to California. He called 14 agents, not a single agent called him back. Long and short of it was he rented a house from, from me for a year. His wife was ended up being, they moved from California. His wife ended up being the uh, personnel director for the IBM privatization of the welfare department in Indianapolis. And turned into, I think, five clients and four and a half million dollars in business in one year. So the thing I can impress the most on, not only you guys in here, but new agents would be, Take all phone calls you can. Don't discount it just because it's a $700 rental. I know you're gonna make $70, but the reality of it is if you're sitting in the office doing nothing, $70 is better than zero. Now I'll go back to Be The database. I mentored agents at Keller Williams, and one of the things I always tell them, or if somebody's thinking about getting into real estate, make a list of 100 people. If you don't know 100 people, your chances for succeeding in real estate are diminished because real estate is a lot about who you know and the ability to network. So I have to make a list of 100 people, and it usually takes them a while. They come up with 20, 30 pretty easily, but then they really have to work at it. And then I would have to pick them the database. Again, one out of every 12 people that you know will have a real estate transaction this year. I want to add one more thing to that. When we were talking about, uh, I don't talk about real estate on social websites and stuff like that. One of the things when you take phone calls, if you make the habit to take phone calls when you're around family, friends, strangers, uh, you take that phone call, you're talking about real estate. I've had people, my son's ball games, um, daughter's volleyball games, say, oh, I didn't know you're in real estate. So there's a way to spread constantly. Everybody that is around you should know you're in real estate. You know, that's funny, Mark, that you say that because I'm the kind of person who would probably step away from the group to take the phone call and not let them hear, you know, that I was about the business. And I'm not saying that that is right or wrong, but I think that's an interesting comment. I guess it's a personality style. Um, I have been interviewed by new realtors and they want to know about the business and what can I tell them about it. And um, I'd like to know that this is not an easy business and um, it, it's a tough one. And I also explain to them about the commission that they think you're getting all of the 7% or 6% or 5 it doesn't work that way. So I sit down and I tell them all about the cuts and what happens and Uncle Sam. Um, and in any event, uh, I just want them to know how tough the business is. Um, and I tease about this, but I always say, and I say to best friends, I wouldn't wish this business on my children. So now what has happened? John is selling real estate. But um, anyway, it's just very grueling. I think people need to know, but it's a great business because we get to meet so many people. And truly, what we do, we help people. We really can provide them with a wonderful service. And they're grateful to you forever. Thank you very much to our outstanding panel. Can we give them a round of applause? For
anyone has a follow-up question for our guests, please feel free to catch them afterwards. I think they're all able to stick around for a minute or two um, before they head back to work. So thank you again.